Before we get into today's video, obviously, if you are looking to buy or sell Muck Coins, as always, use MrMuckCoin.com. They are the safest, cheapest, and most reliable website out there for all your coin buying and selling needs. Be sure to use code RYAN30 at checkout to get 30% extra coins added onto your order. Deliveries will be under 5 minutes every single day. Use code RYAN30 at checkout for 30% extra coins. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to day number eight of the Easter egg hunt here on my channel, where we go through every single day and find the hidden eggs. Today, we have three locations, actually, and we're up to 56 total eggs after today. So if you guys are interested in getting up to those 60 eggs, obviously, if you're going and grinding for them, then you are one day away, more than likely, from obtaining one of those end easter egg captains of course you have Jural casey again alex mack and adam thielen so the first location you're going to go ahead and find is actually going to be in the store and they're going to be inside of the team tab so if you guys go all the way to the right side you will see you have three more eggs here in the team tab now i'm not sure if anything else has expired yet but if you're like me and you still have yet to do it i'm actually going to wait and see if it's actually worth doing um because you don't know if the player uh, that you get is actually going to be going for more than what you pay for it. Uh, I would kind of rather not have to spend, um, you know, more coins than what it's worth. So, yeah, there are three more eggs in the team tab. And then we also have one in solo challenges as always. And that is going to be in the long shot tab. So if we go ahead and move over to the Chronicles of Longshot. There are more eggs in here. I'm not sure exactly which one is the brand new one. I think it's Egg Lemetry. If I had to guess, and I do believe you get two eggs there as well. So we're up to uh, five so far today. And then there is also a silver token inside of the Combine Exchange. If we go ahead and go to Upgrade Sets, and we go on over to the Combine. In the Combine Exchange, we will find ourselves an Easter Scramble Silver Token Exchange. One silver token for one Easter egg, which brings you to a total, if you did every single day, up to 56. Um, now, I would currently be at 55. I actually did one of those egg scramble uh, exchanges. Um, and I think that, you know, they're probably going to make it so that you get exactly 60 if you did it every day. So everyone can, that, you know, everyone that grinded for it, everyone that actually played every single day was able to get it first. Uh, I actually did this set right here. One egg for one Easter scramble egg pack. Again, maybe I'll just go ahead and assemble a lot of eggs and just do a bunch of these instead. Um, because I'm not sure, like, I'm really not sure that the egg hunt captain is going to be worth how much you put into it based on how much it's going to go for. Like, I think this card is going to go for, like, 300k, and I think the total cost of getting it every day, you know, using all the tokens, using all, uh, you know, the gold tokens that go for 30k, and using all the silver tokens that go for 7k, I just don't know if it's going to be completely worth it. Um, again, I would recommend if you guys do have a lot of gold and silver tokens saved up, sell them now because once everyone has the egg captain and the gold tokens are no longer needed to get eggs, then these are definitely going to go down um, and the silver tokens are going to go down as well. So definitely if you guys have tokens, I would recommend getting rid of them now and you know, if you guys need one or two more uh, throughout the you know Easter scramble promo to get these guys here then just buy them off the auction block don't save a whole bunch of them uh, definitely get rid of them now uh, so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about today is we actually got a little bit of confirmation on EA's Twitter if you guys know EA sports underscore mutt the actual official Madden ultimate team Twitter we saw this logo right here as their new Twitter profile picture. Now, what does this mean? What is the P logo with a player and some stars? Well, if you guys remember in the past, if you have not played Madden Ultimate Team in the past, uh, then pretty much what this means is the return of positional heroes. Now, positional heroes, obviously, a lot of people are gonna sit there and, and be happy, and a lot of people are kind of maybe celebrating in their mind, saying, yeah, I can't wait for all these new players. Uh, but for the people that don't know what positional heroes are, pretty much what EA will do is they'll take into account everything uh, that happened throughout the entirety of the season. Um, I'm not, I don't think they take playoffs into account, but they will go ahead and take everything else into account, regular season, uh, how well a player performed, and they will give what they feel was either the best performance of the year 
for that player and they will become the quarterback running back wide receiver tight end left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle so on and so forth the best player at that position will get a card now it's not always the best player at the position we will see uh some instances where you know a guy that may not have had a card throughout the year uh let's say i'm not sure like uh someone that didn't really do the best at a position um i guess we'll go ahead and use for example um you know maybe like a matthew stafford he didn't exactly have the best season as a quarterback uh but he might get the positional hero because i don't think he has a super good card at running back you could see a guy like kareem hunt kareem hunt may have not had the best year at running back in comparison to everybody else but he might get the positional hero card uh, at wide receiver maybe a guy like uh julio jones or keenan allen they don't have you know a whole ton of amazing cards in this game maybe they'll get the position hero um you know if you guys are following what i'm saying here pretty much not it won't be the best player at every position so don't expect like a tom brady don't expect like a todd Gurley, antonio brown um don't expect a uh you know harrison smith um you know stuff like that i would not expect the best player at every position but i would definitely expect at least somebody that did amazing and somebody that doesn't already have a great card in madden so uh, i think that's going to be the end of the video for today hopefully position heroes come out very soon we get details on it and how the uh promo works of course i will be every single day updating you guys on what the best ways to do the sets are if there's any hidden things again i will definitely be all over that and i will definitely guys i will help you out throughout the entirety of the promo and give you guys my thoughts my opinions and the best methods to obtain these cards and everything so be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel if you want updates on every single thing in madden ultimate team i will be there for you and be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys later peace